One day, Matt Powell said, feel free to re-upload this video on any platform. So I'm doing that now. You're welcome. Hey guys, this is Matt Powell. So after the duck-billed dinosaurs surfed to Africa and went extinct, and after the sauropod dinosaurs farted themselves into extinction, there was one species of dinosaurs that made it through these many, many millions of years of time. All right. <laughs> Got my friends. I'm gonna get a couple more, okay? <laughs> you two have been chosen for this video. <laughs> That's all you need. Yeah, that's all you need. Okay. So I have here. So this is what evolution actually teaches is that T-Rex dinosaurs turned into launch at KFC. And so that's what evolutionary theory is. And you know, obviously evolution teaches a lot of weird things, but if you look at the uh, anatomy of a chicken, oh, good grief. So if you look at the build of this chicken, you can see that it clearly descended from a T-Rex. Not really. You can see how in a T-Rex they had short stubby arms. And apparently now the chicken's able to do a handstand with those arms because those arms evolved down into its legs for one. This one wants to fly. So obviously they developed wings so that they could fly. Not really, actually that's another fail of natural selection. So. Natural selection didn't do very good things for this chicken. And in fact, I guarantee you she's scared to death of me. And that's not really how a T-Rex would be if it was truly survival of the fittest and only the strongest survived. They say that we started out simple and became complex and then the strongest organisms and the strongest animals were able to survive and wipe out the weakest. Well, if that were true, why do we even have chickens? You know, this thing shouldn't even exist if evolution was true. It would have died off. I mean, they are, they went from predators that could kill you down to, well, if you're like me, your very best friend. <laughs> Not really. I didn't think that people would actually believe that reptiles actually grew feathers and started flying. But that's what people believe today. They believe that these reptiles, these Tyrannosaurus rexes from 65 million years ago, somehow grew wings. And obviously chickens can't fly. So here's the thing, if you're an evolutionist and you're looking for dinosaurs and you want to find dinosaur bones, look, you could find some live ones today. Right here in my hands, I actually hold proof of evolution. Hold still, hold still. So evolution actually teaches that these chickens were descendants from T-Rexes that existed 65 plus million years ago. They're the only species that didn't go extinct, but just devolved instead of evolved into chickens. And so this is just a proof that natural selection fails for them, even if this was true, because natural selection, they say, sets genes up for the benefit of the species and selects those genes that benefit the T-Rex. But here's the thing, the chicken didn't really get benefited by this. In fact, the chicken went from being a predator in evolution theory to one of the biggest preys that are out there in creation now. They constantly have to put up fences and stuff to keep these things in, and keep them protected from animals because otherwise they're gonna get destroyed. So to say that the greatest creature of all time, the T-Rex, the most fierce animal, devolved into a chicken, and people actually believe that? Folks, it just goes to show that evolution theory is a complete joke on all fronts. It's a complete joke and a fraud. Anybody who just takes a moment to consider what evolution actually teaches about dinosaurs in general, it just goes to show the facts are on our side and the fiction fairy tales are on the evolutionist side. Evolutionists claim that natural selection is proof that the strongest survive. But here's the thing, 65 million years ago, if evolution were true, this would be your worst enemy right here. This thing would have eaten you alive for dinner. <laughs>